In this problem, we have a quadratic function, and we're being asked to find the maximum or the minimum. In this case, we have a positive coefficient for the x squared term. So we know this parabola is going to open upward. What that means is this one has a minimum value at its vertex. The maximum value is up at infinity, but we can't really put a number on that. So we don't really worry about that. We say that this, this function has a minimum value, and we can determine exactly what that is. If you had a downward opening parabola, it would be the opposite, and you would have a maximum value right at the vertex. In either way, we're looking for the vertex. So, so far we can say that this one does indeed have a minimum value because it's an upward opening parabola. So where does the minimum or maximum occur, in this case a minimum, where does it occur? So we want to find that vertex, and we could fool around with completing the square and putting this in vertex form. There is a shortcut, however. If we think of these coefficients as a for the x squared term, b for the x term, and c for the constant term, then the location, the x value of the vertex is always going to be at negative b over 2a. So b here is negative 24. So we got a negative, negative 24, and a is 3, so 2a is 6. So a negative, negative 24 over 6 is a positive 4. So the vertex occurs at an x value of 4. And then to find the other coordinate, um, which is the, the function's value at that minimum, all we have to do is take 4 and plug it in for x. So let's go ahead and do that. 3 times, well, 4 squared is 16, minus 24 times 4 plus 50. And I think when you do all of this calculation, I think you're going to end up with 2. So our vertex is at 4, 2. So the location of the minimum value is at x equals 4. And the actual value of the function there is 2. So that is how to find the minimum or the maximum value of a quadratic function.